Hey everybody, I am going to show you how you can go live on YouTube. Very simple. You do not need any encoding software or anything like that. I will go into why you would need the encoding software at the end of the video, but for now I'm just going to show you the easiest way to go live and then also how you can schedule your YouTube uh, live stream event. So the easiest way is to go up here and you're going to see a camera icon. You're going to click that and you're going to click go live then it will bring you to another page where you are going to um, create a title just going to do title and I'm going to have mine private for now but you can um, when you schedule your live stream or go live you're going to want to have it public um, if you want it public if you are doing it just for a select few people you can uh, click private uh, but for this one I am going to click private because <laughs> when I was uh, recording earlier I accidentally hit go live and I didn't want to and alright so I am going to click save for or schedule for later and say I want to schedule for Friday and at 11 a.m. and um, so I'm going to click next and then you can either have a thumbnail straight from the webcam or you can upload a custom thumbnail. I normally upload my own custom thumbnail and I create those um, in Canva, uh, which is canva.com. It's free, it's simple, they have templates um, and all sorts of different things that you can use over there. Uh, and um, now I'm going to show you uh, say it is Friday at 11 a.m. and I want to start my live stream so I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright so it is the day where we want to go live so we are going to click this icon again and click go live and we are going to see a manage uh, tab up here we're going to click manage and it's going to show you all of your uh, scheduled live streams and then you are going to click the one where you want so I have a couple here for the um, world of heart event um, but I'm going to click this one here and we're going to go live dashboard and it's going to allow you to just click here to go live. Um, a lot of times I like to share it on Facebook before I go live just to um, have a couple people coming in um, uh, before I actually go live. So I'll sit here for a few minutes before and then I'll share it and all of that sort of thing. Um, and then also if you want to um, edit your uh, description box and all of that sort of thing you can do that as well you can pick your webcam I don't have uh, my external webcam hooked up but I do have my microphone hooked up so that's why it's seeing that here but there is um, a few different options and that is um, the easiest way to go live uh, and you don't have to schedule a live stream if you just are um, wanting to go live on the spot you would just hit the uh, go live instead of um, clicking that little tab uh, to schedule for later. So it's pretty simple. I hope that I helped somebody out. I get asked all the time what encoding software I use, so I'm going to touch on that just a little bit. The encoding software is for live streams. Uh, where they use multiple uh, camera angles, multiple um, uh, uh, microphones, sorry, lost my train of thought, and also uh, some people like to do um, their uh, screen sharing while they do lives, um, all sorts of different things. It makes it easy to go back and forth between camera angles, like I said, uh, and I use Streamlabs. Um, it's an OBS uh, program it's free and there is lots of different options in there I don't typically use it uh, I do have a lot to learn um, when using it so that's why I don't normally use it I have in the past a couple times just so I can have my face cam and also my desk cam um, in one screen I don't um, mess around with going back and forth between cameras or anything like that I am a one person uh, live streamer I guess uh, so it isn't as easy for me to go back and forth and all of that sort of thing but 
Um, so yes, yeah, so you do not have to have an encoding software to go live on YouTube. That is for um, people, like I said, that have multiple camera angles and are a little bit more fancy um, with their live streams. But if you just want to go live, um, and this is on a PC, I, I don't have any experience going live on a phone, so I'm sorry I cannot help you, but if you uh, go live on your phone, uh, leave some tips in the comment section so that people can check it out. Uh, but I hope this helped somebody. I get, Like I said, I get asked all the time, almost daily, about some sort of question about going live on YouTube. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. And I wanna thank you guys for stopping by. Give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media so anybody else that has any questions, uh, hopefully I can help them out as well. All right, I will catch you guys later. Bye.